The topic is graph coloring problem. This can be solved using backtracking. First of all, let us know what the problem is. See, a graph is given and some colors are given. Let us say three colors are given. That is red, green and blue. Now, the problem is we have to color the vertices of a graph such that no two neighboring vertices or adjacent vertices must have same color. So three colors are given to me. Let us try and see what colors we can give, whether it is possible or not possible. So I'll start from vertex one. I'll give red color to this one. Now I'll pick up second vertex two. Who are neighboring to two, one and three, but already red color is there to this neighboring vertex. So this two cannot take red color. So okay, we'll give green color. Now go to vertex three, which color I can give? Can I give red color? It's not adjacent to one. Yes, I can take red color. Then vertex four, can I give red color? This is adjacent to this one. No. Can I give green color? So is it adjacent? Is it adjacent? No, I can take this color. Then here, can I give red color? No, this is adjacent to this one. Can I give green color? This is adjacent to this, so I cannot take green color. Can I take blue color? Yes, this is not green, this is not. So it's different from all three. So I can take blue color. So I have vertices one, two, three, four, and five. And the colors what I have now is red, green, red, green, and blue. Yes, a graph can be colored like this. Is it the only solution? Or there are other solutions possible. Yes, I can color it in a different way also. Let us see. Instead of red color, I'll give green color here. And here I cannot take green, so I'll take red here. And here I cannot take red, so I'll take green. And instead of green, I'll give here red color. And this is blue. Okay, I'll give blue only for this one. See, for the other vertices, the colors has changed. It means that same vertices can be colored in different ways. So there are more than one solutions possible. And here we want all possible solution. What are the ways they can be colored? So it is like permutation or trying out all possibilities and then picking up the one which are satisfying the condition. What is the condition? Neighboring vertices should not have same color. So yes, this type of problem can be solved using backtracking. When you want multiple solutions and there is a different possible solution, go for backtracking. Here we learn two things. See, three colors were given to us and we have colored the graph. If I give just two colors, I don't give blue color. Can the graph be colored in this one? No, it cannot be colored. So if I give four colors, one more color, yellow, can the graph be colored in that? Yes, it can be colored. So. We will define one type of problem here. If a graph is given and some colors are also given and just we want to know whether a graph can be colored by using those colors or not. We don't want the colors. We don't want the colors of the vertices. Just we want to know it can be colored or not. So this problem is called as M coloring decision problem. It is M coloring, M coloring decision problem. We'll define one more problem here. If a graph is given and we want to know minimum how many colors required for coloring the graph. And this problem is called as M coloring optimization problem. M coloring optimization problem. Now we can say there are three types of problems. One is if a graph is given and the colors are given, we want to know in how many ways the vertices can be colored. What are the possible colors? This is one type of problem. Second thing is colors are given. Just we want to know whether the graph can be colored with those vertices or not. And the third thing is colors are not given. Just we want to know minimum how many colors are required for coloring this graph. So before start coloring, first of all, we need to, we need to know minimum how many colors we should have. So for that, we go for optimization problem. Right? Or else we already have some colors and we want to know whether these colors will be sufficient to color this graph or not. So then decision problem and coloring decision problem. This is also called as chromatic number problem. Chromatic number problem. Color is M coloring is chromatic number. So decision problem or optimization problem. Now we'll take a simple graph and show you 
how this can be solved using backtracking. Here is a simple graph and three colors are given. I have to color those vertices such that no two adjacent vertices are having same color. So this problem can be solved using backtracking. And the method of solving a problem in backtracking is by generating a state space tree. So first I will generate the state space tree without any conditions or any checkings. I will simply generate a state space tree. So let us take this is the root vertex. Then first I will consider the first vertex, vertex 1. So this is for vertex 1. So I can call it as x1. So for this I can give either red color or green color or blue color. And second vertex, second level, second vertex can have either red color or green color or blue color. Then here also red color, green or blue, red, green and blue. Then under this, this is for the third vertex, third vertex, red color, So I have filled all possibilities for third vertex. Now I will fill for fourth vertex. Now this tree is showing all possibilities in which I can color them without checking the adjacency condition, without checking any condition. Means the neighboring vertices can have same color also. So this is the possibility. So I have drawn a big graph. It becomes very big if you don't apply any condition. But in backtracking, we impose conditions and solve the problem, right? But without any conditions, if I generate, let us check total how many nodes are generated. That is root is having first node. Then first level is having three nodes. Then second level is having three into three nodes. Then third level is having three into three into three nodes. That is 27 nodes, three into three into three. 27 and the next level is having 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 nodes. See these many nodes are generated without imposing any bounding function or condition. Then how many nodes are these? Right? This is this is 1 plus 3 plus 3 square plus 3 cube plus 3 power 4. So for 4 vertices it is forming 3 power 4. So this is 3 to the power of 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1. So this is 3 power 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 2. So this is approximately 3 power n plus 1. N is the number of vertices. And what is 3 here? C. C to the power of n plus 1. So the time complexity for generating these means time is nothing but the number of nodes you are generating. For each node you consider it as one unit of time. So total time span is 3 power n or c power n. So this is exponential time taking problem. Now let me solve it using backtracking. So we imagine that all these nodes are generated but backtracking will reduce it. So still we consider the time is this much only. I will solve this using backtracking by also checking bonding function. Let us start. I will generate a state space tree. Now this is the first vertex, vertex 1. I am calling it as x1. So for this I can give it red color. Then, next vertex is x2. Now once for vertex 1 has red color, can I give red color to this one? No, they are adjacent. So red color cannot be given. So if I use red color, then this node is killed by bounding function. So this is killed. Now I can give another color. Let us take a green color here. So yes, green color is allowed. So I'll take a green color here. So the next vertex is green color see for the second vertex color is green yes this is valid now once you got a valid color go to the next vertex that is third vertex so to the third vertex third vertex can i give red color check it here yes this is not adjacent to one it's adjacent to two and they are having different color yes this is allowed now once i got a valid color i'll move to next vertex that is vertex four so let us check first can i give red color so here red color, no red color, this is adjacent to 2, so it cannot be given. So this node is killed by bonding function. Let me try next color that is green. Can I give green color? 
yes it can be given and this is different from these two yes the green color can be given now see it is like depth first search we are at this stage so now next i should try another color also that is blue color can i give blue color to this one yes i can give blue color also so these are two solutions see red green red and green blue green also and blue also so i have two solutions like this first solution is red green red and green second solution is red green and red blue so i have tried all possible colors for fourth vertex go back and try the next color for third vertex red is given now green so i'll remove fourth vertex and here i'll mention green color can it be given no these are adjacent so color cannot be given so this is killed with the bounding function now can i give blue color to this one let me try blue color yes blue color can be given now next fourth vertex again fourth vertex red color red color for this one no this is adjacent so this is killed by bounding function then green color can i give green color here yes it can be given so this is a valid answer so red green blue green third answer i got is red green blue green now i should try all colors let me try blue color here blue color this is adjacent no this node will be killed by bonding function so i have tried all possible colors for fourth vertex now go back third vertex all three colors tried now go back to second vertex so remove this color and this color now second vertex second vertex green already we tried let us try with blue can i give blue color to this one yes now next vertex try red color for the third vertex can it be given let us check yes the adjacent vertex is that one too and it is not having red color it is valid then try for fourth vertex can i give red color here red color no this is killed with bounding function then green color can i give yes adjacent vertices are red so this can be given so i have one more solution now that is r b r g now for the fourth vertex i'll try color blue yes blue can also be given it's adjacent vertices are not having that color so r b r b is one more solution that is r b r b then go back for the third vertex now in this way i can continue and can find out all possible solution see by applying bonding function some of the nodes are getting killed so at most it's going to be 3 power n finally so we say that the time complexity for solving this is 3 power n now let me show you where the graph coloring problem is useful now let us see where this graph coloring problem is useful so here i have a map and the map is having different regions suppose i have to color this map such that no two adjacent regions are having same color why i want to know this see the reason is in olden days when the printing was done for each color the paper has to be passed through the printing press for one time so for n colors it should be passed for n times so if we say let us take unique color for each region then that many times we have to pass the paper through a printing press to avoid this extra work we want a solution so that in minimum number of colors this map can be colored so that minimum number of times it can go through and the cost of printing is reduced so that's how this problem is introduced so the map can be converted into a graph and the graph can be solved so we get a solution for a map so let us see how this map can be converted into a graph for each region we mention it as a vertex this is the vertex second vertex third vertex and so on now the neighboring regions we will draw an edge see these are neighboring draw an edge these are neighboring see this is a boundary common boundary above this one so this is neighboring then for this second vertex who are neighboring 4 and 3 are neighboring for third vertex who is neighboring 4 is neighboring for fourth vertex who is neighboring 5 is neighboring and 2 already done so this is forming a graph so if i take this graph 1 2 
3, 4, and 5, then this is forming a graph. This is forming a graph. Now solve this M coloring problem on the graph. Whatever the vertices will get color, that same color you fill them in this regions. So the problem is solved. So nowadays uh, we are using printers which will print the entire thing in one shot. It will use all colors, mix them and print them at once. But in olden days for every color we have to pass it through the machine and let the paper dry then again pass it through the machine. So that was a lot of time consuming work. So this was a very famous problem in olden days that is coloring the map. Now even if any other problem which you think that it is suitable for this one then you can convert into a graph coloring problem and solve that problem. So that's all about graph coloring.